wouldn't it be interesting if the first thing a child sees who's starting from zero, that's geotagged to him as someone that looks like him, or maybe it's an icon that turns into someone that, that have a smile, or just a smiling face. And I thought that could be a very powerful image that says this is something that's positive and, and will bring joy to you. And, and that conversation actually got me thinking about uh, what are those ingredients for education, like those early education ingredients that are, are needed to kind of make this thing happen. And uh, the three things I came up with are love, peace, and empowerment. Love stemming from uh, what I've learned from Dr. Ekman and Dalai Lama and universal emotions. Everyone understands what a smile is, no matter what your age. That's what a baby's first is looking for the mother's smile so we could recognize the mother and, and get that, uh, that impulse of a smile that's good, that's happy, that's positive. Um, another mentor of mine, this guy, Doc, uh, David Milch, who, who's I think one of the best storytellers I've, I've ever had the pleasure of knowing. He, he co-created NYPD Blue and did Deadwood and uh, I got to work with him on John from Cincinnati and, and those other shows. Um, he gives a lot of lectures. He was a Yale professor uh, for creative writing, and he, he uh, would talk about, you know, this, you know, when people say hi, hello. So the ancestors would say, like, hi, but this just means I don't have a rock. You know, you're a caveman. Mm. Hi, I don't have a rock. I'm not going to hit you on the head with something or stab you or mm. cut you on. I come in peace. So I think if a child feels love, feels peace around them, that this uh, tablet or computer device makes them feel like they have a proper escape. And we can tell that story, make them feel through storytelling that these places are safe, that they have love, and that they can be empowered now. Empowerment can be through, Khan, you know, examples through Khan Academy and YouTube. YouTube is such an empowering device to so many people. It's a, just a, an incredible way that people can <coughs> distribute ideas and thoughts and stories. I think the people we're trying to educate should have access, obviously, to those same uh, devices and tools. Um, so knowing that, you know, that the kids, uh, when they're using this uh, device, that there's no one there with a rock, that the computer's not going to harm them, that there's peace there, I, I think is really, really important. Um, uh, and then... You know, we, we're going to talk a lot about, you know, how can we help educate and, and how can we help educate the kids who need the most. But I think what we'll end up doing in the process is we're going to end up learning from the kids. And that will kind of be a feedback loop as this begins to take off and we uh, down the road see, see this activating. We're going to actually learn, I think, a lot from the kids. I mean, as a father, uh, you know, who does his best um, to try to educate uh, my child. It, it's actually my child who educates me. And so I think that's, you know, always important to keep that, that open mind and, and that openness to realize that we're going to be inspired and through that inspiration we'll be able to feed back and, and grow this community and grow the ideas uh, that the think tank will, will ultimately share, you know, with, with those who are contributing and, and, and uh, you know, uh, looking to compete to win the prize. So, thank you.